Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a couple different things that I wanted to do for you. I wanted to show you uh, all the things I'm going to be using for the next journal collection that I'm making for my Etsy shop. I'm going to do that first and then at the end of the video I'm going to tell you who won my 6,000 subscriber giveaway. I showed a video way back in August um, and I was close to being like 70 subscribers away from being at 6,000 subscribers and I said in that video that when I hit 6,000 I would do the giveaway so I I did that and a little bit more so I wanted to tell you who won the giveaway and yeah and at the end I'll just tell who <laughs> I just said that at the end I'll tell who won the giveaway and what they need to do to contact me and yeah so I wanted to show you what I'm going to be working on next I'm doing some Christmas strawberry shortcake journals so I found this panel of holiday ornaments they're vintage the vintage strawberry shortcake and I'm going to use these they're from 1980 American Greetings put them out and they're to be sewn together and then you stuff them and then you hang them as ornaments but I'm going to use these panels on the covers of my journals so I wanted to show you what pattern or what pictures were on each of these so there's two of each and let's see one two three four eight different pictures so there's strawberry with a candy cane, and then a Christmas store and wreath, the snowman, strawberry's cute little kitty, and another, oh, I guess there's three patterns. So there's four of each of these four patterns. So really cool, I have that. I also have this pat strawberry fabric that I'm going to coordinate with it and I'll probably pull in some sort of red or green solid pattern I just need to look in my stash of fabrics to see what will go with this and then let's see other actual strawberry shortcake items I found this ribbon it's a Christmas um, ribbon really cute I love the I mean, these could totally be made into embellishments, the sides of the ribbon. I'll probably do that. But I found a thicker and a thin, more thin ribbon. And then I have these Christmas napkins. I found a whole pack of them, um, but I just pulled two of them out to show you. And then I have some old, like, it's the newer versions of strawberry shortcake from the early 2000s a couple different Christmas wrapping papers I found this one that's more of a winter theme and then I found this one that is like a pink and green ornament theme so I'm going to make pages with those and then I have some printables here that I will cut apart and make into journaling cards So I have those and then the other items I have that aren't strawberry shortcake but are strawberry themed I ordered a pack of these strawberry bags on Amazon I'll have a link down below if you're interested in them so I thought these were nice because it was mostly green and red so I'm trying to stick with the green and red even though the the Christmas wrapping paper had pink there's also going to be pink included but mostly green and red and then I have this paper, it's just old scrapbook paper that I had in my stash, I'm trying to use it up. Seems like whenever I go to use it, it's not the right color red, but I think it will go well with this pack. So I found this strawberry pack from Michaels. It's one of their newer packs, but I ended up getting it on clearance. I think it was like $4. So it has this really cool strawberry pattern and then coordinating I'll probably just use these two here that coordinate. Mm, not sure about this, 
the glitter, but yeah, I really like the strawberry there in that pattern. So that, and then I have other, like lots of other strawberry little things that aren't Christmas, but are just strawberries. So when I finish, you know, putting together my book and need to fill it, I'll fill it with that stuff. Um, and then also other green and red sort of ephemera that I have in my stash. So that is what I'm going to be working on next. I also will be working on a book for my daughter. She wants, she has a black cat. So she wants, she asked me to make a black cat journal for her, not like a Halloween journal, but a more, um, non Halloween journal. <laughs> so I have some stuff that a bunch of things that I've pulled together and I'll do that in another video and show you, but I think that's going to really, really be cool. And I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably just do that for a Christmas gift for her. Um, so yeah. So anyway, that is what I have for this journal and hopefully you'll stick around, subscribe to my channel. So you'll see my further videos as I work through this book. So now on to who won my giveaway. I'll put it up on the screen here. All right. Congratulations, Karen Wong. You have won my giveaway challenge. Um, please go over to my Instagram. It's at Creative Crafticality and message me there and let me know what theme of a junk journal ephemera pack you would like. I saw you had three that you listed in your comment, but um, I have any of that stuff. So any of those themes that you listed, I think it was uh, flower and Christmas and there was one more and I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen. So any of those, I definitely have that stuff. If there's something else that you're working on and would prefer that, just let me know what it is and I'll let you know whether or not I have that stuff. Most likely I will. I have been collecting stuff for so long that I have so much, you know, in different themes that I could probably fix you an ephemera back to go them to match with that. So yeah, go ahead and comment down below, Karen, that when you have messaged me over on Instagram, so I am sure to go over there because sometimes I don't see that I've been messaged, but I just want to make sure that, that I get a response or I am seeing your response. So yeah, go ahead and do that and you can message me give me your address and I will get an ephemera pack sent off to you. So congratulations again. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe and go ahead and check out my playlist of my Dollar Tree fall junk journal challenge that I'm hosting right now. It's another giveaway, um, but you do need to uh, post images or videos of your fall Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge if you want to participate in that giveaway. So I'll have the link for the videos down below as well as the giveaway, all the details and everything like that. So it's still going on. I probably will not, it, it will be like the second week of November when that ends. So you have time that you can work on something. So yeah, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless. <laughs>